certainly different to what we first uh, thought was going to happen. Yeah, let's talk about a little bit of Survivor Series. What? 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 It's been a crazy 24 hours in the world of WWE. We have Survivor Series this weekend, and it's going to be incredible. SmackDown vs. Raw, it's always fun. We knew it was going to be kind of chaotic. We knew that people were going to come, you know, and invade the show. What we didn't predict is that now our multiple main matches have all been altered. We had Alexa Bliss. She was going to come out and announce, you know, who her team is for Survivor Series. Sasha and Bailey have a match to see who wins, and it ends up, you know, chaotic. Not important. We cut at the end of Raw to Becky Lynch. She has a armbar on Ronda Rousey, and Becky's, you know, got that. She comes out, you know, you know, standard Becky stuff. She's over as all fuck. And then the Raw girls, there's like seven of them in the ring. Smackdown come in and invade. It's chaotic. Great, great fucking stuff. Honestly. Killer ending, one of the best raw endings we've seen in a long time. Now, in the process of this, Nia Jax with a little, you know, a little right hook of boom, and Becky's nose is all shattered. She gives her a, quite a bad concussion. Her nose is like over here. It's hell fuck. This shit is intense. Mm -hmm. See, he's fucked. Let's go on to the next bit because this is where it gets a little wonky. I wake up this morning and it's just all over the plastered all over the fucking internet. Becky Lynch is out of Survivor Series. I'm like, well, fuck, that was the main fucking most anticipated match of the whole show. Becky's pulled, she's gone. Concussion, broken nose, she can't compete. What we suppose maybe we're getting at WrestleMania, we're getting now. We're getting Charlotte Flair, Ronda Rousey. It'd be a killer match. I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's a shame that Becky's out. I love Becky Lynch, I, as does 99% of the world right now. It's just she is the man figuratively, is the man of the company. She is the number one person in the company. No one really better than her. No one really hotter than her right now. That goes around, we're like, all right, that's getting a change. So someone's gonna have to jump in on the SmackDown women's team, which SmackDown's just aired here. And um, yeah, there's still no word on who that be, who that will be. I'm assuming it'll be like a Mandy Rose or something like that. Maybe a Lana, who, who fucking knows. Now we got Charlotte and Ronda. I'm like, okay. But at the start of the program, before all of this even happened, at the start of SmackDown, Paul Heyman comes in and is just talking shit to AJ Styles about he's the second best in the world and Daniel Bryan's the best and AJ's like, I already beat Daniel Bryan and Bryan comes out, they fucking get into it and then they're just brawling everywhere and then we cut away and we go back to the backstage area and Shane McMahon's like, fine, you two want to fight? AJ and Bryan, WWE Championship match in a main event of SmackDown. But, out of all of this, Bryan then gets removed from the WWE, ch uh, WWE Championship, what am I talking about? The Survivor Series men's team as a captain, and Jeff Hardy replaces him, and now Miz is just the captain to fight Raw, so that changed, along with the Smackdown, uh, the Smackdown vs. Raw women's match fucking changed, along with Ronda and, and Becky changed, so everything's fucking changing. We go to the main event, and it's a fucking classic match like they had a couple of weeks ago, Brian and AJ killing each other, just bashing the crap out of each other. Standard AJ stuff, standard Daniel Bryan stuff. So then we go into the finish, and AJ goes for a phenomenal forearm on Daniel Bryan, misses, gets the referee, AJ turns around and wha -pam! Low blow. Bryan just shocked everybody and turned heel. Something that we wouldn't see from Bryan, we, we never thought we would see from Daniel Bryan in this kind of landscape that he was in and how white hot he was, but. Let's, let's, let's take a step back a minute. Daniel Bryan, you know, when he was white hot in like 2014, 2015, you know, those years, 2013 even, he was the hottest baby face in the whole company. Number one guy, the man, he was everything. Fast forward three years and he's come back in that. Has it been the greatest comeback ever? Maybe not. It hasn't been bad by any means, but has it been the greatest? Probably not. Brian was stalling. You could tell Brian was stalling. He was fighting Miz and that, that feud was what it was. It wasn't amazing. It definitely wasn't bad. It was just, it was just there. I think there was a lot of hype behind it. It's hard to live up to that sometimes. So then he wins the, the WWE Championship opportunity. Ends up having it on SmackDown instead of Crown Jewel. All that crap that I talked about in my last video and multiple podcasts and shit like that. Let's not get into fucking Crown Jewel. Go into, you know, you go into now and Brian's not you know, the hottest 
Brian needed this. This is perfect. And now we got Brian. <laughs> Didn't even talk about this shit. We got Brian versus Brock instead of AJ versus Brock at Survivor Series. Is it a bad change? Definitely fucking not. I can see some people being like, oh, yeah, I hate this fucking shit. It's fucking shit. I, on the other hand, have no problem with any of it. Charlotte and Rhonda will kick ass. Brian and Brock will be something like we've never seen before. The men's and women's Survivor Series teams are both stacked, both great. Um, hey, something that didn't change was the tag team stuff. Woo. Anyway, Survivor Series, red and blue. Now, I had a podcast last week. It was titled, I Bleed Blue. Oh fuck yeah, I still bleed blue. It is just, wow, what an e this episode alone of SmackDown Live was so chaotic and crazy, it was amazing. The sense of urgency that we desperately require and need as pro wrestling fans was in that episode. We would have thought watching Raw, okay, this week, it would have been like, tomorrow night, Daniel Bryan is going to be the WWE Champion and he's going to be a motherfucking heel. Now, take away all of this, okay, all of this kind of injuries and changes and stuff like that. Was I hyped for Survivor Series before? Hell yes, I was hyped for Survivor Series before. Am I more hyped for Survivor Series now? I think time will tell over the next few days leading into Survivor Series, but I would say yes, I am. Just because of all of these changes and stuff that's happened in the actual show itself. It's craziness. This is crazy. I don't even know what, like, my voice is going high from it. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. The fuck was that? But, you know, stuff like this, it's unfortunate when injuries happen. So the Becky injury, obviously, now. Here's, let's take a moment to get serious. I don't like when people blame other workers for di different things. I've always been a defender that accidents happen in pro wrestling. However, I will state one thing. That punch was a little bit careless, in my opinion. Do I know anything? This is just from a fan's point of view. I'm not a pro wrestler. I don't know, I don't know like any of us pro wrestling fans know what is going on at any given moment in pro wrestling. We're not experts. However, I just feel it was a little bit careless in the in the chaos of it all. I mean, take my opinion with a grain of salt, because I am a fucking moron. Survivor Series, Team Red, Team Blue. I'm Team Blue all the way. I have my blue shit on. I mean, fucking me. Blue fucking everything. Blue, blue, blue. I bleed it. I bleed blue. Fuck Red. Fuck Raw. And yeah. Fuck it all. And Survivor Series will be lit. And so will NXT take over War Games with four matches on the card. That is ideal. They're all going to get time to fucking steal the show. Every one of them. Every one of those matches will be amazing. Now, here is my opinion on where we go. So, you can hear it here first. And no motherfucker better steal my fucking opinion and write all over the fucking internet. Nah, I don't give a shit. This is just my opinion. So, with Becky Hurt... Maybe somewhere along the line in the next month, I think Becky may vacate the championship due to an injury. I just think that's what's going to happen. Do I want it to happen? No, I love Becky Lynch. She's the best. She's the man. Whatever. But I think she's going to vacate the championship. And because she never lost the championship, she's going to go into the Rumble in 2019. And she's going to win the Royal Rumble. And she's going to fight old mate Ronda Rousey. And they're going to have the main event of WrestleMania 35. Becky Lynch is going to be the one to beat Ronda Rousey. That's my opinion. Like I said... I'm an idiot. Take it with a grain of salt. That was my opinion on this year's Survivor Series. I think it's going to be a killer show. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, whatever you have to do. Follow me on all my socials. The links are, the links are coming up. Here they come.